Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, we would like to share how to enable or disable a command button on user form automatically when certain condition is met. In this video, I'm going to share how to trigger the change of the status of the command button to either enable or disable by using number of checkboxes check. Firstly, double click on any editable area of the user form. Instead of using procedure click, I'm going to change to mouse move. Delete the unwanted procedure if needed. Let's write the code in this mouse move procedure. Since I'm going to use the number of checkboxes check to determine whether we should enable or disable the command button, therefore, I need a for loop to run through each control in the user form by using a dummy call CTRL. To call the user form, either use the name user form1 or simply me followed by dot. Use the controls property. A very important issue we should take note here is since we have more than one type of controls on this user form, there are the label, the checkboxes, and the command button. To ensure we check through only the checkboxes, we need a condition. Use the if condition. Use the type name function. Bracket check on the control. Close bracket. And we should make sure that type name is exactly equal to checkbox. Remember to type together with the quotation marks, since this must be in terms of string and the syntax is very important. Make sure we type correctly. If it is a checkbox, then we should check again whether the checkboxes is checked, which means that we need another condition. If the value of the control is equal to true, then this indicates that the checkbox is checked. So we need to make a hit count. I'm going to use a random dummy to make this hit count. Simply set equal to itself plus one, which means that whenever the condition is met, we add a new hit count. Since we start with if, of course, we need to end with if. Start with if, end with if. Finish the first one, press it to the next, and the for loop is now complete. We can now move on to change the status of the command button, either to enable or disable. According to the instruction, we are allowed to select at most three hobbies, which means that we should have a trigger point of three. Let's set another condition using the if function. If a is less than equal to 3, which means that the condition is met, then we should ensure that the command button is enabled. Again, we can use user form 1 or simply me followed by dot. And now call the command button. Select the command button followed by the dot enable property. We should set equal to true since the condition is met. Otherwise, we should set it to false. Start with if, again end with if. Besides, to emphasize the instruction when the trigger point is hit, I'm going to change the font color of this label 1, which means that when the condition is fulfilled, the font color of this label 1 will still be black. Use VB black. Otherwise, I'm going to turn it to red. Use VB red. And the coding part is now done. Let's double click on the user form and run it. Simply select 1, nothing happened. Select 2, select 3. How if let's say we select more than 3 hobbies? When we move to the command button, as we can see, it's disabled. And the font color of this instruction turned to red. Let's uncheck one of them and move to the command button. It will now be normal. So select again, move again, red, disable. Whenever less than 3, enable. As we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.